Hey everybody, it's Brian with Retired at 40. Welcome back to the kitchen. Today we're doing something new, something fresh, something that's never been done before on YouTube. Today we're freeze drying America's favorite little snack cake girl, Little Debbie. So I picked out all the most common Little Debbie stuff. Um, the Nutty Buddies, which are a peanut butter and chocolate combo, a Swiss roll, chocolate cupcakes, Star Crunch, and the infamous oatmeal cream pie. So you'll notice one common thing in all of these, except for the oatmeal cream pie, and that is chocolate. And we know that chocolate does not do well in the freeze dryer, but today we're gonna try and solve that problem. We're gonna do some adjustments because I really want some of these to turn out. <laughs> so there's really no kind of preparation to do these. We're pretty, bit blah, 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 blah. So there's really no preparation needed for any of this stuff um, other than maybe just cutting them into little smaller pieces so they'll fit on a tray and, uh, and freezing them. So let's get to it. So let's do our Swiss rolls first. And it seems like these used to be called Ho-Ho's. I don't know if that was a different brand or something maybe. Maybe this is little Debbie's version of a, of a Ho-Ho. Or maybe they just can't call them Ho-Ho's anymore. <laughs> okay, so if you're newer to freeze drying, then a really important thing that you need to know is that the freeze dryer, when it's extracting all of the water out of something, it needs a place to extract that from. So if you have something that's completely sealed up like a ho-ho or a Swiss roll, for instance, you need to cut it in half so that water can escape. I'm gonna try the Swiss rolls a couple different ways. I did them in half like this. This one already had a chunk of chocolate out, so that should give us a place for it to breathe. And then I actually just left these in the wrapping, but I cut them in half so we can just freeze dry them just like that. And I think we'll do the chocolate cupcakes next because they're kind of a similar makeup. They're cream filled with chocolate on the outside. These I believe we can probably just leave whole if they'll fit, as long as they fit the height of the freeze dryer. Let's just see. Ooh, I think they're gonna make it. Well, that makes it easy because I think we can just open up one side like that, that gives the water a place to escape. And it's a, it's a lot more sanitary option, I guess, because you're not getting your fingers all over it. And I'm gonna make sure that I leave a lot of room around these because if we happen to have a failure, that gives everything a chance to expand, or if it's gonna melt like it typically does, then we'll, it'll actually uh, allow it to have space to do that as well. Next, let's do my favorite, the Nutty Buddies. You can't go wrong with peanut butter and chocolate. And the more I think about it, I think I, I really like the idea of just leaving it in the wrapper if possible. You can not go all the way through the bottom, then it kind of keeps it in one also. So what I'm doing is taking just the tip of the knife and going through this top layer of plastic and then just taking it until you hit the bottom. Then it keeps it all in one nice piece. And just for fun, let's take these apart in layers and try them that way. I don't know where the other ones went. All right, next let's do the Star Crunch. And I'm gonna do that same thing. I'm just gonna go right through the center. The great thing about these is I got these from the dollar store. Little Debbie's have always been cheap. In fact, when I was a kid, which wasn't too terribly long ago, they were a dollar. Now they're at the dollar store and they're $2 for some reason. So even if this whole batch goes bad, I'm only out about 10 bucks. So if there's one thing that's gonna succeed, it's gonna be the oatmeal cream pies because there's no chocolate in here. Um, it still does have a high sugar content, obviously, which sometimes doesn't do that great in the freeze dryer. But let's get these on. These are the last things, and then we're gonna throw them in the deep freeze. You know what, I changed my mind. I'm not gonna put them in the deep freeze. I'm gonna do a whole cycle and uh, just use the freeze dryer as the, as the pre-freeze. And since I'm down here, I wanna show you, I've done five cycles in this premium pump. I wanna show you how clear the oil is still. Look at that, it's crystal clear still. Those of you that have been doing this long enough, uh, you will remember the JB pumps that used to have to be uh, changed every single cycle and you'd change the oil and it would look like car oil pretty much. Not anymore. I'm also gonna reset my kilowatt machine while I'm down here. 
I'll put a link in the description for this if you want to just see what kind of wattage and see what kind of electricity you're using. So if you've been freeze drying for a little bit or you've searched through the Facebook groups and found some information, it's pretty common knowledge that chocolate does not do well in the freeze dryer. It's, it's one of the probably handful of things that just don't do well. And really one of the key factors of my channel is I like to try and experiment with different things. Uh, things that haven't been done before or uh, things that I haven't done before. So I think one possible solution is if you go to customize on this screen, it's got a dry temperature and that's going to be your shelf temperature, which right now is uh, at default, which is 125 degrees. So imagine 125 degrees with a, a piece of chocolate, like say sitting in, the, in a car on a hot day. We all know what happens. So we need to take that shelf temperature down to a temperature that's not going to melt the chocolate. So chocolate melts at 80 to 90 degrees. So we're going to take this down. I wonder what the lowest this will even go. This is 80 degrees is actually the, oh no, I'm wrong. And it says may improve appearance of product, but will increase the drying time. So once we're down at 80, we're going to hit save. We're going to go to start. So we're going to stick little Debs in here and get going. Nutty Buddies are going up top. Our Swiss rolls and our cupcakes. Barely clear, but they're going to go on that second shelf. I'm going to do the Star Crunch on this third shelf. Oatmeal pies on the bottom. And I like to put this pillow in before I put my seal. I actually take my seal off every time. Then I can make sure that all of these little spots in here are sealed up and then this seal will fit real nice up against the pillow because that pillow really seals it up if it's put in well. So I think this is going to be a pretty short cycle so I'll see you pretty soon. Unless you have not subscribed yet, you need to subscribe to the channel. While you're there, click the bell to get notifications. We release a video every Sunday. And while you're in the freeze drying spirit, you might as well join the Facebook group too. There's so much useful information in there. Every time I log in, I learn stuff. And now we're doing free giveaways every month, sometimes more than once a month. Who doesn't like free stuff? We'll see you in a bit. So the harvest rate's saying that the process is complete. There's seven hours and 34 minutes. I have my doubts. Well, good news, the chocolate doesn't appear to have melted. And believe it or not, I think it, a lot of it is pretty done. This is still pretty soft. I'm gonna throw it in for, let's say maybe another 10 hours. All right, well I added a little bit more time even on top of that. Um, just I wanted to really make sure that it was done and uh, I also wanted to get a little bit of sleep. So it, uh, it's been in for 19 hours and 34 minutes and I'm gonna give it one more check uh, if it doesn't do it at this point, I should at least be able to tell whether it's going to work or not. So I've mentioned it before, but while I'm putting the air back into the system, um, I, I don't ever touch this screen until I absolutely know that I, that I don't need it anymore. So put your air back in and then decide if you need a defrost or more dry time at that point. All right, well, I'm gonna put five more hours on. That'll give it 25 hours in here. Um, if it's not done by that time, it's just gonna be a no-go, I guess. So one of the reasons I really wanted to do chocolate is I've scoured the Facebook group and I've scoured some other resources and I, I can't really find anyone who's ever had success with chocolate. So with that said, if you've had success with chocolate or something that's similar to that, um, let me know in the comments because I'd like to make this a success and I'm sure there's plenty of other people who would love to be able to do chocolate or something similar to chocolate. So abuse that comment section, that's what it's there for, we're all here to learn. Alright, we're back. Uh, it's been 24 and a half hours, so uh, even if it's not completely done, this is going to at least give us an idea whether it's possible or not. Um, I've added time to the machine a couple, couple of times. And uh, one thing that I've noticed about the newer software, I don't know if it's because of what I've been freeze drying or just a, a fluke, but it seems like it's a bit ambitious. Uh, and by that, I mean, it seems like it cuts off the cycles a little bit too soon. I find myself adding more time 
uh, more often than not. But I haven't really done a whole bunch of cycles with it yet, so probably like less than 10. So my opinion is still forming. All right, let's see what we got. So at first glance, it doesn't really appear that a whole lot's changed. I actually broke this up the uh, last time I checked on it. It didn't happen because of freeze drying. But everything kind of just looks real similar to how it was when we put it in. Those look like they lost a bit of size. Let's take these all upstairs and uh, dissect them a bit further. Well, at first glance, everything pretty much looks exactly the same. So the only way to really tell if anything has changed is to taste them. So it's a rough job, but someone's got to do it. Let's start off with the Nutty Buddies. The texture of the peanut butter, not looking promising. It's still really soft. And even though I lowered that shelf temp, the chocolate still just kind of gets um, kind of soggy almost. Like almost zero difference. I better take another bite just to make sure. Next, I think I'm going to do the star crunch. And I'm, I've got a feeling these, this is very similar makeup as the last one was. So probably just about the same result. But I have hopes for these trays right here. Same result again. It's really, it's not a bit different than it was before we put it in the freeze dryer. Let's go to something that has a little bit of promise. So from what I can tell, these, uh, the cupcakes had, did the most changing. You can see that they actually shrunk a bit and the cake part of it is pretty hard. So I'm gonna cut this in half and see what the inside of this looks like. So that's kind of cool. The cream filling actually did freeze dry. The cake part freeze dried and the chocolate on this one freeze dried as well. Let's see what it tastes like. The top chocolate part got really, really crunchy. Bottom part actually reminds you a lot of uh, brownie bites. If you've ever bought brownie bites from a store, kind of the crunchy chips that are brownies. That one's the best by far. So the Swiss rolls or Ho-Ho's have kind of the same thing going on with the chocolate shell. Uh, it's still soft, it's oily, but the inside, I actually really like these. These are the best ones freeze dried so far. Uh, this inside little chocolate thing and the swirl, the texture is really cool on it. I like it. Um, it's really easy to eat. I really like that one. God, I'm gonna be shook after this. So obviously if you wanted this to last for any amount of time, you'd have to peel the chocolate wrapping off to get to the inside because I think the inside is really, really dry and it would actually store. We've got one more left and that is the oatmeal cream pie. And the inside of this, it kind of got freeze dried. Parts of it seem like they did, but there's still parts that are a little bit soft. There's not as much crunch as I thought there would be on this outer cookie part. It's still pretty soft. It makes me a little bit nervous to be eating it because it makes you think about all the stuff that's probably in this to be able to uh, withstand freeze drying and not actually dry. Well, unfortunately, I think that means that chocolate, at least in like 98% of the cases, is still not able to be freeze dried. If you ever had a different experience than that, please let me know in the comments section. That's what it's there for. Um, Otherwise, kind of a one and a half out of five success rate on this. The cupcakes did freeze dry and the Swiss roll uh, ho-hos kind of 50% freeze dried, at least, the, at least the inside part of it. So kind of a fun experiment today. Unfortunately, it didn't all work out, but if you excuse me, I'm gonna go for a 10 mile run now and burn off the 5,000 calories that I just consumed. In the meantime, this is Retired at 40. Remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.